Hello. Hi. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. Hello everyone. Hello, good evening. Hi guys. Hello. Oh my, thank you so much. Hi. Thank you so much everyone for joining today. My name is Samaira and I'll be teaching you how to make this lovely thing. Now uh, I have named it a fantasy portraiture. There can be several things it can be named. But how do you make her hair so realistic? Uh, <laughs> you'll be learning it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So it's one of the let's say it's one of the simplest uh, portraiture that I can think of to teach. I have very limited time on uh, Instagram live. That's why this is the one I could come up with. Let me just quickly uh, tour you through my sketchbook. This was the very first sketchbook. Uh, this was the very first painting I made on this sketchbook. This is Menorah sketchbook. Uh, 21 by 21 inches sorry centimeter inches would be too big 21 by 21 centimeter square this was one of the lives I did with menorah initially so uh, usually it takes me up to two or probably three days to finish off a painting but it's uh, I have very limited time with you guys that's why I'll be doing a very basic one. This one is my favorite one. I haven't referred any drawing for this. I made it by myself. It's not completely perfect, but I still like it. Oh my, this is like the most horrible thing I've made. <laughs> I'm skipping it right now. And then this. I've not worked much on this sketchbook. I wish I could show you more. Anyways, let's not waste any more time. Oh, this is my latest one. <laughs> Let's begin our drawing. I'll try to sketch it up as quickly as possible because uh, to be honest, uh, the coloring is what really appeals me in this drawing more than the sketch part. So I'll just quickly draw. I'll just very quickly make the basic features. Whenever I start with uh, human figures, I always draw some reference lines and I tend to follow them. Mm, let's see here. Yeah. This is how it is. Mm -hmm. This is where my eye would be, probably somewhere here, like this. Yeah. Very vaguely, I'm drawing. Now, this is where my nose would end. So, something like this, maybe. Yeah. My lips, not exactly lips, my lips should end somewhere on the top. So, Chin over here. I'll just increase the nose size a bit. Yeah, I'll take my lips over here. Chin like this. A little pointy maybe. Yeah. 
now within this line my ear would come somewhere over here uh, should i take it a little i'll just take it a little under ki taraf provide on my lip part just like this like i said i'm not concentrating much on the uh drawing part because frankly that's not my strength this would be her hair some like this please feel free to ask any question you want i'll try my best to answer them as much as possible bit of hair over here just marking little bit from here like this and i'm just drawing random lines it will be filled up in a much uh, different way Let me just quickly rub off the guides. We don't want them. I'm really not happy with the lips. Just give me some time. I'll quickly fix her lips. much better okay can you save this yes this live would be saved my drawing is done and like i said i'm not concentrating much on the detail when it comes to pencil line uh, pencil drawing we'll be detailing it with the colors just quickly draw a boundary for my sketch ma'am can you send us the drawing picture of okay i'm sure i can send it you can directly message me on my instagram account i'll send you the print out or uh, printable now uh, in the material list i had asked you guys to get a cello tape or a masking tape i am not going to use it 
I frankly am not very fond of now there are people who like very crisp edges when they paint I like it a little more organic it's okay if paint comes out a little that's that usually happens we don't have to discipline our drawing confine it in the bounds of masking tape so let's very quickly start painting because we are going to need quite some time so for painting I am going to use menorah uh, not, not menorah sorry <laughs> brustro gauche you can use any colors you like I have this big white one here and all the other colors so for this one since it's a very nice dark starry night we'll be using a Prussian blue we'll be using black obviously now I have selected a goldenish hue for my for my girl you, you can use any color hair color you like uh, I wanted her hair to I want her overall um, presence to stand out because of which I'm using golden hair uh, golden color for her hair this is mid medium yellow mid yellow and this is yellow chrome for skin I will be using flesh tint not completely flesh tint I'll be mixing it with many colors and uh, burnt umber for shadows and of course white okay add teal to your list as well now these are the selected colors of mine but you can modify it as per your liking there's no compulsion ki baba aisa hi hona chahiye hmm let us start sabse pehle i'll be painting the sky i don't usually do that first uh, usually i paint the human figure and then i go for the background but here our background has some really signif real significance so i'll be taking quite some amount of prussian blue here and probably a little bit of black come out ah <laughs> hi thank you for joining okay the brushes i am going to use are going to be in this range only this is like the thickest brush which is brush number 8 and my thinnest brush is this one zero number uh, you don't have to you don't really need thicker brushes for this one now i'm just adding very little amount of black in my prussian blue very little amount of black has to be added whenever it's mixed with any color because black has a tendency of changing the hue significantly mm, yeah i think this much darkness is enough now i'll very quickly very quickly i'll start painting hello everyone I'm doing my background first because we are like I said we are showing some nice significant background a lot of stars a lot of stippling is going to be there or whatever you call it I call it stippling so for that if we paint our human figure first then due to the stippling our human figure might get a little disturbed there will be a lot of spilling of colors here and there we don't want that right very quickly I'm going to fill this thing up 
Hello. Wow, I've got quite some audience today. Okay, I'll just detail it up with thinner brush later. As if now I'm going to just do the filling part. Now this might look patchy at the moment. I'll be applying a second shade, a second coat of the same shade to reduce the patchiness. Why I don't really uh, pay much heed to my line drawing is more than 90% of the time whatever I draw I never follow. I always have to make some or the other modification while painting depending on how I want it to look because in my case at least what I draw is completely different from what is in my mind or what I really want. So I just leave it to my painting. Now again I'm saying I am not using any masking tape for my painting. You guys can definitely use if you want very nice crisp edges here. So my background is almost done. Now for a long time I was very fond of which color you are using. I am using Brustro. I have a set of uh, big set of colors probably 24 colors. I just showed you one tube. For this particular painting I am only using blue and golden and skin color. Not many colors are involved but in the end it's up to you. If you want to use another color then go ahead. I'll be now detailing my face area. Not detailing, I'll be just filling that place up with a thinner brush. No, I'm done with the sky part. Is it acrylic? No, it's not acrylic. Uh, I was in the middle of uh, talking something about acrylic. I was for a very long time into acrylics, but this particular color has really, this particular brand color has really stolen my heart. It's gouache, so it's like acrylic, but not completely acrylic. It can be, it has such a nice pigmentation that I can actually use it somewhat like watercolor as well though I don't recommend it now all the colors I'll be dealing with now onwards are going to be lighter in nature except probably let me just draw her hand yeah this is her hand and um, let's see this can be probably her neckline for the dress she's wearing yeah good so after my dress which is going to be black i really don't want to be very creative here the black dress is okay with me
Pepsi. And my dress is almost on verge of completion. What I wanted to say was, once uh, what I usually do is, whenever I paint, I categorize my drawing with dark colors and light colors. So once my dark color is done, I try not to repeat the same water. I change it because uh, while using light colors, the water if it's too pigmented with the previous dark color then it might pigment the light colors that we are using so for that purpose I will be very quickly changing my water just give me like two minutes for that till then even my background would dry up so working further would be easy Hello everyone. Okay, I'll be very honest. I'm not completely satisfied with the shape of the face. So <laughs> while painting is going to be changed. Best part about gouache is you can overlap. Overlap the colors that is. Now, we'll be proceeding with our background again. So, uh, I really want to show this as a very starry sort of night. For that, I'll be uh, using white color. Quite some amount of white color, that is. I'll just, yeah. Thoda sa white, I'll keep it aside. added some teal as well I'm making a mixture of white and teal stars it's fantasy you can do anything you like you can even add some yellow stars or pink stars if you want First, I would be working with my teal. Now, like you, like you already saw, I have mixed this color. I have some color in my brush. Now, uh, what can I do? Yeah, I'll just cover this lady a little with this paper. I'm covering it enough so that her face is not affected. Baki ka I can manage. Now, I'm doing this. getting a little in her hair and in on her dress but that's okay so yeah now this side again doing the same thing oopsie her face I don't want her face to be painted then I think this much of blue is enough for now you can tap on screen to turn off comments. I don't want to turn off comments. Okay, it might be some for someone else. <laughs> now, I am working with my white color here. Not take this totally. I just take some part of it. A little bit of previous color is still in my brush but that's okay it's blue so I have no real problem with it now again same method I'm not completely saturating my brush with white color but it's there again I'm doing okay this is not working I'll have to do this only lightly tapping my brush like this to create it to create some more stars, white colored stars. Again with the other side. No, I yeah. 
if you take more color in the brush then you will create those big big stars like this one if you take less color then you'll have to try a little hard and some very small tiny tiny stars would be formed can anyone tell me what this particular method is called this tapping of the brush now I'm going to create some bigger stars like I said I am going to saturate my brush with the color a little more not completely and Now since it's white color, I'm not really worried about it getting in the skin because it can be hidden easily. Blue can create some nuisance. Chalo. My, my sky is pretty um, satisfactory. I'll add some more details. Now for that, I'll be taking my brush. Which brush should I take? Uh, any thin brush thin brush as in it should have a very uh, small base now I will be dipping this brush ka base and creating some bigger stars like this I don't know if it's visible on uh, the camera but the mixture of blue first and then white has created a very nice depth effect like there are stars in the background that are lighter in color the blue, lighter blue that is and there are some vibrant ones in the front and there are those big ones I think I'm quite done with my white I'll do the same with blue see it looks equally good if you add a little more variation this is done now we would be proceeding with the hair I'll be I am keeping the skin for the last or rather I'll be working simultaneously with hair and skin but I'd really like to start with the hair before I start with the hair whatever uh, I don't know if you can see but there is some little blue color here so I'll be just quickly removing it like this whatever stipples uh, whatever stippling has come inside the skin can be removed like this not removed basically lightened so that when I apply the skin color it would not mix with the blue and create some third shade yeah see done it's been sorted now I am proceeding with my hair for hair, I will be mixing my mid yellow. With some amount of uh, yellow ochre. Oh, it is dried up. Okay, before, uh, now see, just whenever you are working with blue and yellow or blue and any color for that matter, just make sure your brush is completely clean because blue has this notorious habit of staying in the brush no matter how much you clean it. So just very thoroughly clean your brush and only then use it. Same with black, same with darker, any darker color like dark green. Now if you don't mind, I would really like to refer my drawing once. It's okay if I refer it. Hmm, okay. So, for hair, I have used like some nice three or four shades. 
of yellow first I'll be creating my base color this is my base golden with ochre I'm quite happy with this color I can do yeah. now just distributing it in the other sections if this is my base color then whatever shades tints and uh, shades and tones I'll be making would be with con uh, by taking this color only now in this one I'll be mixing some white I'll not take this white because it's having some part of blue yeah whenever I take black uh, black or white I make sure it's uh, taken somewhere else and I just scoop it up as per my requirement it's easier that way you can actually have a control over how much color you're taking I'm not really worried about is white pe thoda sa color mix ho gaya because I'll be using it for hair eventually a little more there I'm happy with this color or not I'll just take this entire thing to ask anything that you want to know about I'll try my best to answer now this is my base color this is my tint and I'll be making a shade now but I'll not be mixing black with it instead of mixing black I'll be using burnt umber I'm taking quite some color there because we'll be needing it further probably need some more of this uh, I'll just think of it later yeah yes I was right I'll need some more not a problem hi how are you there my shade is ready my tint is ready and my base color is ready let's start with the hair I'll be overlapping a lot while painting but a even if I'm overlapping I'll still uh, let's just say compartmentalize or I don't know better word for it I'll be deciding on which where will be lighter part of the hair and where will be darker one so uh, as per original painting my light source is somewhere in this direction somewhere from the down somewhere from here and somewhere from here so my front hair the hair that is in front like so that is close to the skin is going to be super light there's going to be some uh, depth over here and then again while flaring out it will have some good highlights accordingly we will be painting our hair my hair not my hair her hair <laughs> so yeah add some more water hello how are you So while uh, making those strokes what I'm doing is I'm starting off with thinner line I'm pressing my brush like this to increase the uh, width of the stroke and I'm further continuing it with thinner one 
and I'm not really restricting myself with the movement of it. I'll just do as per my liking. Now I have closed it here. I'll open it here again and I'll just leave it. Similarly, over here like this. Yeah, that's okay. I'll just add a more, some more here, some more over here as well. Now there is no real light from this side, so I'll be filling this up with darker use and more of my base color is going to be here yeah I'm really not happy with this I'll just change it yes people this is going to happen very often one fine moment I'll be like I'm not really happy with this part of the painting and I'll just change it without second thought yeah and now I think for now the base color is good now I'll move on with a thinner brush which brush brush which brush should, should I take this one yeah this works how to get commission work? <laughs> I have no answer for this. I'm so, I'm really sorry. I think if you keep consistently working on your um, thing, whatever you're good at, people will come for commission. And you don't really have to get paid all the time. Maybe you can just make a free commission for your cousin or maybe your best friend. Just tell them, Kichal, uh, I want to make something for you, make it and then make a, uh, create a nice video of how you made it. That can earn you commission. Now I'm working with the tint. Tint ka matlab, it's the lighter color of the base color that I keep talking about base color. So this is my base color and the tint is the lighter shade or I, technically it's the lightest shade but I have taken lighter comparatively lighter shade for this one now since we are going to add some shadow I'm not adding much of tint over here my tint is going to be here and on the top yeah this might look a little haphazard right now but believe me it's going to turn fab as we proceed it's all about having some patience. Trust the process. Do not doubt it ever. Now, just the way I had used, uh, the, just the kind of a uh, stroke I had used to uh, make the base layer of the hair I'm going to use similar uh, method to create the highlights I'll be starting off, off with thick one and then eventually it will reduce as it goes down and once again I'll tell you do not worry about the direction of the hair um, what I'm really showing here is it's flowing upwards and it's going up it's flowing and flowing hair doesn't really have a particular direction unless the wind is like really really strong very carefully I'll be doing the outside oopsie it went out for a problem yeah like I said I'll be overlapping a lot this is what happens when you overlap the color kind of mixes when it mixes you have to clean your brush immediately now will this life be saved yes it's going to be saved now I'm working with the shade I'll probably just lighten it up a bit perfect now the dark color
I'm making comparatively thinner lines for the dark shade. Basically while making those strokes there are several of those uh, white patches that are remaining. I don't know if it's visible in camera or not but whatever those white patches are I'll try to fill them up with my shade so that it makes more sense. I'll just make another line over here and I'll fill this gap up. Looks like a bigger one, big gap but it's okay. Again there is a gap over here. Again, there is a gap over here. I'm filling it out like this. I do not want the dark color to dominate, but it's somehow happening. That's okay. I'm trying to keep the dark color as away as possible from the... Because of the chat, the painting is not clearly visible. I really would love to switch off the chats but then if someone asks me any question I'll not be able to address it. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. Maybe I can do this? Yeah? Is that okay? So I'll quickly proceed. Now I am going to add some more dark color in the back side, in the uh, red part of the head. First I'll just, just miss. should do this is better I'm glad now just a little uh, detail sort of work over here it's Friday again it's Saturday Sunday Monday it's Friday again Chalo. I think this should be good for now. Now what I'll be doing is I will be adding some more white or rather not I'll just create a third shade, fourth shade. <laughs> okay I'll just quickly yeah so I'm adding a lot of white in my uh, in my base color to create the highlight it doesn't have to be full white you can use full white if you want if you like that stark highlight but I'd like to keep it a little subdued that's why I'm using a little base color in my highlight Now uh, my uh, this my hair is not completely dried up, so I'll just be a little cautious while using my highlight because while using highlight, what happens is you need you need to have a strong concentration of your highlight to actually make it look like a highlight. Otherwise, it will just merge with the base color, and huh, the whole point of having a highlight would be lost. just close it up a bit yeah now I'm starting my highlight from here like this and just finishing it off in the top
Oopsie. The highlight doesn't have to necessarily be the last step or the second last. If you're not happy with the highlight, you can always add the base color to it to add a little more depth. I'll show you how. I'll probably have to do it. Now, uh, this is about the end about the this is the limit where I'll be using my highlight I'll be very I'll be adding very tiny highlight over here and that's it because like I said this is the rare part of the head there is not much light our light source is planned in the front so this is obviously going to be darker so very tiny amount of highlight not much in the back side now I'll be adding, adding another line of highlight in the top just the way I had added others start with a thicker line and then just reduce it like this like this I have my shade uh, like medical in my hand. So I'll just very quickly add some lines. We are fine. The direction of Start your life with not of my idea. Restart your life. I'm getting out of the hair. 
foto You can detail it as much as you like by adding some more personal details of um, random shapes. When these photos are losing it, the more personal light you the more depth or shadow you get, the better or more they look. As I'm leaving it aside because my color is still quite wet, so I can't really work on it. It's in the Again, this is my base um, This whole lot of red over here, amazing. I would very much like to use it in my drawing. Now, I am starting with my skin. <clears throat> Again coming back. I'm not quite happy with the hairline to be honest so I am just going to alter it a bit like this. Like I said I'm going to alter the face shape a bit because I'm not very happy with it. I'm increasing the size of the nose a little. going free thank you now 
I'm just going to spread this. Use, I'm going to use quite some water in my brush and spread it like this. Just very randomly encroaching the hair area. the neck I'll probably encroach a little here as well just to make it look a little more natural there I guess this is much better yeah oh dear it's looking super yellow in the <laughs> in the live session god I don't know what to do about that Kindly believe me when I say that it's not as yellow as it looks. Please set focus. I hope this is good. Yeah. Let me see if my light setting can do something. I think this is okay. Now very quickly I'll be finishing off the face. Now I'm keeping this wet because I want to work with the shadow highlight and a little bit of pink or ra rather red. So without wasting more time, let's get back. Since our light is coming from here, we are going to need some highlights there. So my forehead is going to be super light yeah. like this I'm just mixing it with the remaining again encroaching the hairline thank you so much the nose is going to be super light just the bridge area of course going to merge it with the remaining face this particular area is going to be nice and rosy so I'm going to add some amount of red over here a little bit on the nose as well yeah <laughs> oh dear this looks bad I'll just quickly merge it yeah I'm just merging it very lightly on the paper. Do not rub it because if you rub it then uh, the paper would start creating bubbles. Drawing would start getting out of hand. So just very lightly merge this. Yeah, I'm taking the redness all the way up. somewhere over here that's okay just merge it oh yeah okay taking a little bit of burnt umber very little amount of burnt umber and 
creating a little bit of um, depth over here. Hmm? And simultaneously merging it with the pink. Just let's add a little bit of white here because since uh, the cheekbone is going to have some highlight yeah. and those who have joined my life from the beginning must know that I have encroached the sky area later on so till the time this area is completely dry I can't really work much with it but that's okay the whole point of this is you should get the idea of how to make it I'm sure you'll be able to make it later now again working with the highlight Ma'am, this video will save rahega. Of course, it will save. You go to Menorah's page and see the videos. So, you will get it. Again, this mouth area is highlighted and the chin area is highlighted. All the way to the jawline. Since our light source is from, the below, uh, from below as well. I'm just merging it with the remaining face. It's okay if the initial uh, color gets mixed with it a little. That's the whole point of it in the first place. Now I'm just very quickly painting her lips. Not with complete red, red shade. I'm just adding a little bit of dark brown to it. The burnt umber shade that we have previously taken. Just trying to make a shade that is um, slightly reddish but not completely obvious. Taking a little red now in my brush and just adding some dots here and there. With the same uh, color that I have used for the lip, just let me yeah. Perfect. Now Now that we have started working, let me just work on the eye area. I'm adding a little bit of highlight here, more highlight. A little bit on the nose, again. tiny amount on the lips very tiny amount and finally very beautiful thank you so much thank you very tiny amount on the chin again
this area and the outer area this is going to have some shape work with the shadow part and if you make yellow or if it's not yellow believe me it's not yellow in other words it is very nice to see it's a little bit yellow it's a little bit yellow it's a little bit yellow it's a be adding side Now, just some of the videos which I highlighted because it's high time now. First, I'll start with the micro. I'm first just making a very thin line. It's not completely filling the eyebrow. Now, with a clean brush, I'll be just making those lines like this. on the color i'll be just threading the color like this and then after that i'll be taking some more color in the brush this time proper color in the brush and i'll be repeating the same procedure just make those tiny tiny lines like this just probably make her eye bow a little thick on this side death same color 
the burnt umber, the dark brown that I'm using, I'll use to make her eye like this. I'll probably just merge it a little with the background color. so that it lightens a little it is looking too dark now with the highlight color of the skin skin highlight color I'll be painting the eyelid yeah now with black color I'll be making my favorite part that is the eyelashes and the eyeliner oh, just very carefully my eye part is almost done the skin part is done I'll just probably <clears throat> create some more shadows here for the ear and for the neck Now I would be, what should I do now, yeah, now I'll be uh, defining the hair again and before that I'll just correct this part of the painting. Do not feel guilty about overlapping colors if required. In the end what really matters is what is your end product. Ain't it correct? I'll just keep the remaining correction part for later. I really need to detail out the hair. So for hair detailing, I'll be using my thinnest brush and the darkest of the brown that I have that is burnt umber and I'll be making very thin lines around each and every segment that I have made when I say segment it means there are lightest colors there are um, mid tones there is the base color there, is also, there are some dark tones so what I'll be doing is I'll be just randomly making lines through them it doesn't have to go all the way down just make those lines there'll be more lines where the uh, form is consolidating there are, there'll be fewer lines where it's opening up I'm 
like this and like this as you can see I am making more lines in the central area where the hair is coming close the back side the rare part of the head would have more of the dark colors like this <laughs> and now I'll just add a few more lines over here now very carefully I'll be working with the lines over here <laughs> very carefully add lines in the front uh, in the start of the hairline I'm getting a lot of requests for of people who want to be in the video. So what we can do is, if we have time left in the end of the session, I would surely add you guys. I'll just add a little detail here. I'll just let some hair overlap the ear part like this. It's okay. What is that? Added details shouldn't harm hmm. I think this is this has turned out brilliantly all right now if you want I can detail it out further or else I can just tell you how to further correct it now the skin part looks a little if your skin part looks a little patchy you can always top it up with more color like I am doing right now and just spread it with the uh, you know merge it with the base color again it's okay if you um, add more color define to, you know to darken it it's okay I probably just add a little red here as well It's not oil color, it's gouache. See? So pretty. Thank you so much. Now one tiny detail I forgot to add. That is the nose uh, contour. It's not that tough. You just have to spread it a little like this and make a curve here and just very lightly merge it on the top that's it Nak ban gaya. you can further add some detail over here by adding a little nose hole over here but it shouldn't be very dark it should be light just a barely there sort of thing and uh, as of now this is done we can probably add some more details in the background like nice cute star like this a plus sign the twink a star that twinkles like this and uh, I'll add one more here 
there are some less stars over here so I'll just add it manually it will not be the same but something is better than nothing I'll add another detail that is a nice pretty shooting star like this I'll just make this dot and spread it like this like this again don't make it where there is too much of Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi there. How are you? <laughs> anyways so let's just end this video right if you guys have no other question then we'll just uh, conclude this session and uh, if you guys have any more doubts or if you want printables you can always um, you can always ping me my Instagram handle is just underscore art underscore up. Send me a message. I'll send you a printable. You can recreate your uh, art. You can always tell me how it looked. And uh, thank you so much for joining them. I'll sign off. Goodbye.